Hey guys, Mark here with you today. I thought I'd do a quick video of the newly released Polar Lights 132nd Classic Star Trek Galileo Shuttlecraft. Uh, I'm not going to do a build up tutorial. There's about a half a dozen of them on YouTube now. Uh, the only thing I could uh, recommend is to assemble the wings on the side of the shuttle first and then attach them to the lower hull and attach either side after. Otherwise, you're going to run into all kinds of problems. Uh, so, the color. The color of this model was based on information I gleaned from Gary Kerr. Gary told me that the upper hull is the same color as the lower part of the front of the nacelle on the original series Enterprise. The lower hull is based on the impulse deck color, again from the original series Enterprise. Uh, you have to mix these colors. They do not come in a can. Insignia white, wrong. Do not use this. Light goes gray. This has been for a lot of years uh, suggested as a lower hull color. Wrong. You actually have to go and mix your top and your bottom colors. This model, I decided to display it with the windows closed because there's nothing in there at this time, but I can remove the blocking window panes in the future by winter. I've installed a switch. which will activate the rear engines. And anybody who's followed my work will know that I'm a boring kind of builder. I strive for accuracy. These were never lit in the series, never. Never. And the less we talk about the remastered stuff, the better. So, in the original series, they were not lit there's no other lights on the Galileo other than the rear engine lights. So, there she is. Have fun with your build. Stop by again. Thank you.